Good morning, modern steaders. Yep, somehow this happened. More wood to put away. That means more heat for this winter time. One of the reasons I like buying and cut split firewood is I don't have to do it. And then it's a great way to support your local economy. I mean, I can go give my money to the oil man, or I can give it to the local logger, and then he's gonna give the money to his employees, the landowner who land he logged, and most of our forests are just neglected. Logging done correctly is like intensive farming, like pasture farming. You need to constantly be maintaining your forests and if there ain't people to buy the wood or markets for the wood to go to that's not gonna happen then they're gonna get overgrown and then we're gonna have big old wildfires because we're not maintaining our forest our trees are gonna die because they're gonna get funguses they're gonna get diseases so a lot of people don't like logging but it's a necessary we have to steward our land and we have to steward our forests. I don't think anything compares to wood heat. It's just a nice dry heat, warms you to the bone, where other heat doesn't have that. When it's 20 below zero and you come in from being outside and you're chilled to the bone, you go over to the wood stove and just stand there and it's just such a great feeling. Or after a good hard day's work at work, you're tired, you want to relax, whatever. You grab a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, a hot cocoa. You go sit near the fire and you just watch the flame, relax, and then go to bed. There's just so much that wood heat has to offer. Then we get to use the wood ash in our compost for our gardens. <sighs> there, another one filled up. You girls want to come out? Oh my goodness, Blossom. Such a drama queen. What are you doing, Buttercup? You got any apples left over here to pick up? They've been eating all the blackberries. Here's a nice one. Pretty good. The apple tree's been dropping treats for them. I bet you they like that.
What? You can't carry it? Too heavy? Alright. Hello there, sausage. Coming links. What are you up to, Moose? You need to work on that, Moose. They do, don't they? Did you get that apple? Do you rather go to school? Hey guys, I found some wild raspberries. Let's see how this one tastes. Mmm, that one was a little tart. Let's try another one. The goats haven't touched some yet, so we're gonna eat them before they get them. That one was good. Looks like the pigs are gonna get some zucchini leftovers. I bet you they're gonna be full. They've gotten quite a bit of stuff already today. And they have an endless supply of apples. Looks like zucchini bread's in our future. Look at all those tomatoes. I think the pigs got enough food for the day. Bet you the chickens will love some zucchini. It smells good. Delicious, a little well done, zucchini boats. I've been getting it in the comments lately that moose is their favorite animal on the homestead. 
So I thought tonight we'd end it with collecting the eggs from New York City. <laughs> Moose. So leave it in the comments down below and let us know who your favorite animal is here at Lumna Acres. If it's the goats, the pigs, or the chickens. Or just moose. What are you doing? Well, and you end the video, Forest Moose. You know you want to.